Growing air traffic puts significant pressure on airport capacity and security. Biometrics and self-service automation help airports to achieve a faster throughput of passengers and create a seamless travel experience. Providing a walkthrough frictionless experience with real-time, um, proactive and personalized information is a key part of our digital strategy. This directly supports our strategic objective of enhancing passenger experience by limiting the stress during their travel so that they can enjoy their time really, you know, enjoying our beautiful facilities, shopping, dining, or just simply relaxing. And we see biometric identity management as a key enabling technology to help us achieve several of these objectives. So when we talk about biometrics for customers, it means speed, uh, it means efficiency, and it means choice. So with biometrics, there's no longer any manual processes to have verification of who I am, where I am, my identity, it can all be done seamlessly through biometric verification. It also means no queues. So for service, it means that there's no queues any longer for either checking in or dropping off my bags, or even potentially through the other touch points like boarding. It also means the customer has choice. So with biometrics, the customer can come in and they can choose full service if they want to speak to one of our agents, or they can choose a self-service option with no queues, and to self-serve through the process. Finally, one of the big things and big advantages for us as an airline is we know where our customers are in the airport. So with biometrics, people are gonna have verification at different stages through the process, and we know exactly where our customers are. Are they at check-in? Are they at immigration? Are they at boarding? So we know exactly where they are and if we need to, where we go to to help them. Our vision is that our passengers will come and uh, register at the first touch point with their flight details, their passport information, as well as their facial biometric. And from there on, at downstream and subsequent touch points, essentially their face will become both their passport and the boarding pass, eliminating the need for them to present their passport or boarding pass at all these touch points, and thus providing a very seamless and frictionless experience for them. As you know, our uh, traffic is growing at double-digit numbers. Uh, that means that we have to serve more passengers in the same facility over a few years. And uh, we expect the biometrics to help us manage the volume, also improve our processes, upgrade the uh, passenger experience, and at the end, make uh, Hamad International Airport a comfortable airport, a state-of-the-art airport as we already are. Biometric technology is no different. The trials that we've been conducting with uh, CETA have really leveraged our existing self-service capabilities and platforms by simply installing additional sensors uh, and the underlying identity management platform so that we uh, could assess the true value uh, of this technology to the business as well as the impact on processes and people before we procure and deploy this at a mass scale. It will help security in many uh, perspectives. First of all, it helps in the human-machine interface and helps us resolve issues that have to do with the attention during cer certain processes. We will also be uh, using biometrics to improve certain uh, security and uh, identification checks in cooperation with state authorities and, of course, respecting all the international laws and all the uh, laws related to privacy. So for us, biometrics is a key enabler. It's an enabler of customer convenience and for customers to choose where they want to manage the process.